Good morning. It's Monday. Welcome to our daily prayer. Let's be still in God's presence. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and might. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Every week in college, I post a scripture for the week in Microsoft Teams. And during our weekly prayer time, Oasis, I reflect on it. So I'm going to share some of those with you this week. Our first verse is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verses 26 to 27. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? Fairly recently, we spent a lovely week staying in Dartmouth in a holiday rental situated high up on the hill with a wonderful view overlooking the town and river on a level almost with the swooping and diving seagulls. You could say we had a bird's eye view. In the early mornings, I love to get up and sit quietly watching the sunrise over the town. As the day grew slowly lighter, seagulls began to fly in from where they nested on the cliffs out at sea, appearing just as pinpricks on the horizon, becoming larger as they flew in and in greater and greater numbers. The birds seemed to enjoy a wonderful freedom as they soared high above the town and it was such a joy to sit and watch them. From this passage, which comes from the famous Sermon on the Mount, which sets out the main themes of Jesus' teaching, his, his manifesto, if you like, Jesus talks about the birds not seeming to worry about their everyday needs. I imagine that he watched the birds as he walked around the towns and villages, wondered at them wheeling around high up on the currents of air in the Galilean hills, simply enjoying being alive. Jesus realised the birds stayed alive and well, fulfilling all they were called to be, without any of the stresses and strains that we put upon ourselves, without worrying about tomorrow. And it doesn't mean that wondering about what to eat doesn't matter. Instead, he encourages his disciples to trust the creator God who has filled the world with wonderful, beautiful and mysterious things. To enjoy the beauty of each moment without worrying about tomorrow. To go about our lives working with joy, planting seeds and reaping harvests, appreciating and sharing what we do have. But realistically, few of us are exempt from worry and anxiety. This call to worry-free living is not based on unrealistic views of the world. It's more an encouragement that we can face life with all its uncertainties, with the assurance that we are not alone, that God hears, sees and cares about us and our situations. As in the words of the old pop song from 1988 by Bobby McFerrin, don't worry, be happy, because God is in control. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? 
can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? Some time of quiet, full personal reflection and prayer. We join all our thoughts and prayers together in the prayer our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and those you love and pray for, and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>